Hello everyone, it is Melody and I'm coming at you live from Prague. It has been 12 years. We are overdue for a little update and we also are going to do an apartment tour of my flat here in Prague, which I am excited to share with you guys. I wanted to do an apartment tour when I was in Madrid because our apartment was gorgeous. I'm gonna link the Airbnb in the description box because it literally was just like everything. I learned the hard way that if you wait to do an apartment tour of your Airbnb towards the end of your month stay, that's a lot of cleaning, you know? And so this time around, I'm only one week into my stay in Prague and I'm going to be doing the apartment tour now. But anyways, that was a really long tangent. So let's go ahead and get into this video. So like I said, this is going to be an apartment tour, but first, you know, we're gonna do some announcements. If you're not interested in the announcements and like little updates that I have for you, no worries. You can go ahead and jump to this timestamp and you can start the apartment tour. But if you wanna catch up with me, thank you. And let's go ahead and get into it. Announcement number one. I have been in Prague for approximately one week. I got in last Sunday at night. It was the longest journey of my life. I flew from Accra, Ghana to Cairo, Egypt. I had a 12 hour layover in Cairo, but I flew with Air Egypt and they were amazing. They put all of us in a hotel for the night, which was so unexpected. I was literally so moved and so touched. I, I was fully prepared to sleep in the airport. And then they like shuttle us off to this hotel and give us our own private room and give us dinner and give us breakfast. I was just like, Thank you, God. So that was that, and then I flew from Cairo to Copenhagen. I had a three hour labor in Copenhagen, and then I caught an hour and a half flight to Prague. And here I am. Number two, let's talk about Ghana. So I went to Ghana, and I was visiting my friend Erica. I was there for two weeks, and it was incredible. I just actually made a post on Instagram about it because I had every intention in the world of like filming and taking lots of pictures and like spamming Instagram with all these pictures that I was taking. But the longer I was there and the more I learned about the culture and I learned about my culture, you know, like as you guys know, or you might not know, I did the DNA test before I left and I found out that I was 15% Ghanaian. So, I was learning about myself. I was learning about this culture that I was never connected to. And so going there, experience it, meeting all her friends, meeting these people, learning the culture, learning that I'm a Wednesday board and like learning what that means and learning my Wednesday board name, learning the little handshake that they do. They like, I can't do it with my hand, but they do it and they, they like, do that with the finger and like learning that and then the music and then just experiencing it all and experiencing it all with my friend Erica too and this is like a place that's so special to her that she loves you know her home away from home and it was just incredible guys it it was incredible and the longer I was there it just felt so sacred and so special to me and like something that I just want to keep for myself and not necessarily make videos about um so yeah, there won't be any videos from Ghana and I won't really be posting any pictures from Ghana either. It's going to be a more like personal experience in the sense of I wanna share these pictures with my family or like my friend and I wanna sit there and talk to them as I'm showing the pictures to them, you know? Not just post it and have people like double tap it. Like I really wanna like share what that meant to me with someone on a one-on-one -on -one type of situation, if that makes sense. So. Yeah, Ghana was incredible, and I highly, 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 highly suggest that if you have the opportunity to go to Ghana or go to Africa in general, man, just do it. Especially um, for African Americans, it is truly like a life-changing experience. Announcement number three, you might be looking at my hair thinking, dang Mel, you are having a fabulous hair day. Do you see this definition? like? I've been thinking the same thing. If you guys are interested in seeing how I did this twist out, then let me know in the comments below. I would be more than happy to share with you what I did. So, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into the apartment tour. So here you are at the door. You walk in and welcome. <laughs> All 
All right, so first thing you see when you walk in is my luggage. I'm trying to keep them out of the way. It's really the only place that I have to put them. And over here, pretty self-explanatory, we have a little shoe, sh <laughs> shoe shelf. Why is that so hard to say? And then I have my backpacks here. So this right here is a closet. And then over here, we have the toilet. So in this apartment, the toilet and the shower are separate, which is kind of interesting. So it's basically, you know, just a toilet. Boop! And that is that. So let's spin around real quick. Doo -doo -doo. This is a little coat rack. The door again. My luggage. And this right here is the bathroom. The bathroom which contains the shower. So we have a little towel on the floor which serves as my bath mat. Over here, we have the sink and myself, hello. So in here, it opens, which is nice. It took me a second to figure out how it opens because I saw this and I was like, okay, it opens. How do I do it? But, and then I figured it opens from the outside. Oops. So that is that. Boop -a -doo. Open the other one. Let's see. Q-tips. I have some medicine that I got in Ghana if I get um, sick again. So in Ghana, I got diarrhea. And so that medicine, it literally saved my life. Literally. And then my denim brush. So yes, that is that. We have the sink area. And then over here, we have the shower. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. And it is nice because the water heater is right here and it never runs out of hot water. In Madrid, when I would wash my hair towards the end of my shower, um, the water would be cold. And also in Ghana, I probably would get like 10, maybe 10 minutes worth of warm water and then towards the end, like it starts getting cooler and cooler. So I'm just loving the fact that I have unlimited hot water when I shower here. Sometimes I just stand and I just like, just stand under there and appreciate this warm water because I really missed it when I was in um, Ghana. But anyways, okay, let's get back to the tour. So over here we have the washing machine. And then I have my towel hanging up. This is a dirty laundry bin, which is very nice to have. And then over here, we have my products on this little uh, racky rack thing. Doo -doo -doo. And then from here, we are finished. Shower cap. So now that we are done in the bathroom, go ahead and turn the light off and let's go into the actual apartment. So like I said, this is a studio, so everything is in this room. So welcome to my kitchen. It's just here against the wall, um, but it has all the necessaries. First thing we have is the kitchen sink. This is honest right here. We got some dirty dishes. We have the sink. We have my bone. We'll put that over here. We have some bananas, coffee, my water bottle, a kettle, the stove range, and then I have a mini fridge down here, which gets the job done. And um, yeah, so this is an overview of the kitchen. And that is the door that we walked through. Now, if we turn to the left, we will run into my working area slash eating area. So when I work, I pull the desk out from the wall and I sit with my um, back against the wall, but I have it pushed against there so you kind of can get a better view of what it will look like. And we got my computer right here. And then if we turn, we have the bed. Now, the bed is pretty self-explanatory. We have, you know, a bed 
and we have one giant pillow. I've never seen a pillow this large, and to be honest, it's kind of uncomfortable. I'm not used to it, but we're it's getting better. And then if we turn this way, there is no TV, but this is kind of like the unit that we have right here. So this is my closet. <laughs> and I've hung up um, the clothes that I actually will wear while I'm here. I honestly, I did not pack correctly for Prague. I knew it was gonna start getting cold, but I wasn't ready for it to already be cold when I got here. I have like one long sleeve, one sweater, one um, hoodie, and a one jean jacket. So I've literally just been having those in rotation, and it's already been a week, and I'm sick of myself wearing this stuff already. So yes, pray for me, guys. <laughs> So yeah, this is all the clothes that I actually would wear while I'm here because this is like appropriate weather clothes. We have a mirror right here, which I get ready in in the morning. I actually just put this Bible verse up today. It is Colossians 3.12. I don't know, I was reading in the Bible app this morning and I highlighted that Bible verse and I was just like, I really like that. I wanna put that on my wall. So, yes. And then I have my makeup bag hanging here actually. This makeup bag, I love it because it has a hook. So I have some stuff in there that I would typically use in the morning. And then I found this cup in the bathroom. I just put my brushes in there. This is my baby hair toothbrush. This is not the toothbrush I use to brush my teeth. Chapstick. I have this little bowl here. I keep my beanie, my charger. Again, the closet. And then because there is no cupboard or anything, I just have my clothes that I won't hang but I still want out. I just have them folded here, like this is a pair of socks, my hoodie, and then I just have like some tanks and stuff like that. Down here I have my computer case. And then over here I kind of have my tech stuff. Yeah, so I have some books right here. This is a planner. And then I have, um, yeah, this is where I keep my jewelry, headphones, sunglasses, my ibuprofen, then I have some vitamins, nail polish. And then down here, we have my hard drives. I have my two hard drives, just like my cords and tech stuff. Chargers, cords, this is what? Memory card, and then my other camera. So yeah, and then if we turn, 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 this is the heater that I have no idea how to work. A little tree. And then we have the view. So let's head out. There's this little key here. Oh, I think it's already unlocked. Alright guys, so that is my apartment here in Prague. I hope you enjoyed the little look around my humble abode. I am really loving it here. And compared to the apartment that I was staying at in Madrid, this is half the price. You heard me correctly, half the price. So that is really one thing that drew me to Prague is the cost of living. Compared to other European countries, it is extremely cheap here from transportation to food to housing. Let me go ahead and end the video here. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. There'll be more videos to come. I'm going to catch you guys up on Italy, Spain, and Portugal, so stay tuned. And I also will have vlogs coming out from my time in Prague as well. I didn't mention this in my announcements, but I will only be in Prague until October 4th and then I will be off on a brand new adventure. I will be sharing that with you guys soon enough. So stay tuned and I will catch you in my next video. Stay awesome and stay inspired. Peace.